Hello everyone. Hope you have seen the previous recording. So, so far we have seen uh, uh, probability, basic concepts, random variable, discrete random variable and in discrete random variable we have seen uh, two versions. One is binomial, the other one is Poisson. And uh, I want you to write down the formulas for uh, all the distributions together so that it will be easy for you to refer. So for binomial the probability is ncx p power x q power n minus x and for poison it is e power minus m m power x by x factorial. These are the probability distribution. Now we are uh, in exponential distribution. Here if you see it is a continuous version. I have written continuous distribution. See in binomial and poison it is a discrete version. Correct? So, uh, when you are entering a continuous version, for example, it is like uh, waiting time in a bus stand. It is like if you say that the bus may arrive at any time, if you say the bus will come in 5 minutes. So, it could be in 3 minutes, 3 minutes, um, 20 seconds or something like that. It is like you cannot say either it will come in 3 minutes, 4 minutes like that. Correct? So, it is a uh, window. Within that gap, the bus may come at any time. So, we call such distribution as continuous distribution and we are going to learn exponential distribution today. Okay. And uh, now we have the derivation for mean and variance for exponential distribution also. Uh, and uh, as I told you, it's like already we have derived. What is the mean? Summation x into f of x we will write. The summation in discrete is nothing but an integration in continuous. How do we add in continuous version? It is an integration. So, we have written minus infinity to infinity x into f of x. Remember this formula is same for mean and variance. Whatever we have derived so far uh, for binomial and poison. Only we will write summation in discrete in continuous it is minus infinity to infinity. And um, here the function f of x I have derived alpha into e power minus alpha x. And the alpha varies from 0 to infinity and it is 0 otherwise. In other interval, other than 0 to infinity, the value of the function is 0. So, now I am replacing f of x here. The common mistakes you do is, you will write integral minus infinity to infinity. But if you see here, my function is valid only from 0 to infinity. So, please be careful when you are writing integral 0 to infinity. Note this, x into, I have written what is f of x from this alpha e power minus alpha x dx. Now, if you see this alpha is just a constant because you are integrating with respect to x. So, just throw alpha outside and we have only integral 0 to infinity x e power minus alpha x dx. These are the basic integration techniques. We can use integration by paths or even you can use Bernoulli also to solve this integration. In case if you use uh, integration by paths. How you will choose u and dv? Integral u dv is your formula, right? Always keep this in mind. The one which is going to die is u. <laughs> so, here out of these two terms, if we differentiate x first, we will get 1. And if you differentiate x again, you will get 0. Correct? But here, e power alpha, sine, cos, everything if I differentiate, it will be keep on coming. So, uh, probably you might have studied this as I late rule, correct? Or you can keep it very simple. Which term will vanish if we differentiate? That is u. So, the one that is going to die here is x. So, I am choosing this as u, okay? Yep. Yeah. Now, uh, the formula for uh, integration by parts is integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. As I mentioned, you can use Bernoulli also, but I am using integration by parts. And we have decided u is x. So, du will be dx. Just differentiate. dv is e power minus alpha x. To get v, what we will do? We will integrate. e power minus alpha x dx. If we integrate, the constant is minus alpha. e power 5x, if you integrate, what you will write? e power 5x divided by 5. In the place of 5, what we have? Minus alpha. So, please do not leave this negative sign. This the constant is minus alpha. So, I have written the minus alpha in the denominator. So, now I got u, I got v. Now, I am just going to substitute in the formula. What is the formula? u, v. u is x and v is this fellow. e power minus alpha x by minus alpha. u, v. 
minus integral v du. We are already we have written e power minus alpha x by minus alpha du is dx. This alpha we have thrown it outside, right? That is that constant. Don't leave this. So just we have applied the formula uv. Uv limit is integral 0 to infinity minus integral v du. The limit is again 0 to infinity. Keep this in mind. Uh, because if you write integral limit is minus infinity to infinity, you won't get the answer. My function itself is valid from 0 to infinity. So please be careful with this. And the good thing is, if you apply the limit, upper limit for this, e power minus infinity, it will become 0. First you will apply upper limit, right? So here if I apply e power negative of that minus infinity, e power minus infinity is 0. So everything into 0 will become 0. What will happen to the lower limit? e power 0. e power 0 is of course 1. But if you substitute x as 0, again the entire term will become 0. So completely whatever you have written here, this term will become 0. Completely it will vanish. So you will have only this term. So I have written alpha. This minus and minus will become plus 1 by alpha integral 0 to infinity e power minus alpha x dx. This alpha and this alpha will get cancelled. If I integrate this e power minus alpha x by minus alpha, limit is again 0 to infinity. When you apply upper limit, that will become 0. But when you apply the lower limit, you will write minus, right? So here 1 minus and denominator minus will become plus. So if you want, it's like here 1 minus, here 1 minus, this will get cancelled plus. So upper limit is 0 minus Lower limit if you apply 1 by minus alpha. So this minus and minus will get cancelled. It's like you will get only 1 by alpha. So the mean mu of exponential distribution is 1 by alpha. So once I finish all the distribution, I will prepare a uh, chart. Like even now you can do it. Write down what is the probability P of x. And write down what is the mean. And what is the variance in the chart. So whenever you are studying a new distribution, we have one more distribution. After this exponential, we will be having normal distribution. And uh, I hope so you people are uh, um, checking the uh, videos. So if you have any doubt, you can ask in comment. Okay. Now coming back to variance. Variance, you remember we had the same formula. X minus mu the whole square into f of x. Same formula we had. So, x minus mu the whole square. What is my function f of x? Alpha e power minus alpha x. That's it. So, uh, in uh, binomial and poison, we have written summation x minus mu the whole square into p of x. In the place of summation, we have integral 0 to infinity. And in the place of f of x, we have alpha e power minus alpha x. And the limit is 0 to infinity. Please keep this in mind. And... Uh, this alpha is just a constant, I have taken it outside. In the previous integration, I told you, you can you even use Bernoulli. So, here we are going to use Bernoulli. Okay. So, again, out of these two terms, which term will vanish when I differentiate? First, if I differentiate 2 into x minus mu, I will get. Second time, if I differentiate 2 into x minus u, I will get 2. Third time, if I differentiate 2, it will become 0. So, automatically, I have identified that this is u. But here if I differentiate again and again e power alpha x will come. I hope you understood. So um, now the rule for Bernoulli is I will tell you the rule plus minus plus. Okay. So first you will start with plus and then minus again plus again minus it will keep on going. And as I told you first you write u. I have written x minus mu the whole square only see this term x minus mu the whole square written as it is. What is differentiation of x minus mu the whole square? 2 into x minus u. I have written this here. What is differentiation of 2 into x minus mu? Don't worry about the sign. This sign we already fixed. Plus, minus, plus. What is differentiation of 2 into x minus mu? x differentiation is 1. Mu is a constant. So, only I will get 2. So, first you are writing u. Differentiation of that answer. Again, differentiation of that answer. Again, if you differentiate 2, what you will get? 0. So, we are stopping with this. And what we will do with the second term? The second term we are going to integrate. First term we have differentiated and we have written. Second term we are going to integrate. e power minus alpha x if you integrate. e power minus alpha x by minus alpha. This we are going to integrate again. 
e power minus alpha x by minus alpha the whole square. This we are going to integrate again e power minus alpha x by minus alpha the whole cube. Whenever we do one integration, one alpha is coming. Second integration, one more alpha is coming. That is why we have written square. Already two alpha minus alpha is there in the denominator. Again we are integrating, so we have written cube. So I hope you got a clear idea of Bernoulli. That is sin is plus minus plus. One term you will be differentiating, other term you will be integrating. That's it. So when you are writing, you are writing u as it is, integrating the second term. Differentiation of u, integration of this term. And it goes till it becomes 0. So after 2, the differentiation is 0. So we stopped with this. Now we are going to apply the limit. What is the limit? Integral 0 to infinity. And e power minus infinity is 0. So when you apply the upper limit for this, completely it will become 0. So I have nothing is there. So if you want, you can write 0 minus. So only you have lower limit. What is the lower limit? Put x is 0 here. So if you put x is 0, upper limit minus lower limit. So this minus I have written here. Minus 0 minus mu the whole square. e power 0 is 1. So this minus alpha is here. Then second term minus. Again second term what is the thing? If you apply upper limit, I have mentioned here. If you apply the upper limit e power minus infinity, that completely becomes 0. So upper limit is 0 minus put x is 0 here. Okay. Already 2 I have taken common. 0 minus mu. I have written minus mu. e power 0, 1. So I, have, I just left it like that. Divided by minus alpha the whole square. Second term is over. If you see the third term, it's plus 2 I have written. Again, upper limit is 0 minus, we are substituting the lower limit value, minus 1 by minus alpha cube. So, we had all the three terms and please be careful with the sign. So, you can write more steps. So, um, this is minus mu the whole square. So, it will become plus mu square. This minus and this minus will become plus. So, we have mu square by alpha. And then in the second term, this minus mu and this minus will become plus. Plus mu by alpha square. Because minus alpha if you square it, this also will become plus. But there is one minus outside. So minus 2 into mu by alpha square. Third term, this negative sign in the cube and this negative sign will become positive. So we will get 2 by alpha cube. So after getting this, we already know mu value. What is mean mu? We have derived 1 by alpha. We have just now we have derived mean mu as 1 by alpha. So, if you substitute 1 by alpha square, here in the place of mu, 1 by alpha. So, if you see that 1 by alpha cube and then uh, minus 2 by alpha cube plus 2 by alpha cube. So, minus 2 by alpha cube and plus 2 by alpha cube will get cancelled and you will get only 1 by alpha cube. And if you cancel this alpha and this alpha will get 1 by alpha square. Now, what is the variance for um, this distribution? It is 1 by alpha square. Okay, mean is 1 by alpha, variance is 1 by alpha square. The first standard deviation is square root of that. Yep. So, we have derived this, mean mu is 1 by alpha, standard deviation is also 1 by alpha. We are done with the derivation. Now, we will see one problem. Uh, in a certain bus stop, 3 buses will arrive per hour on an average. If you want, once I read the question, you can pause this and think for a second and then start the problem. 3 buses will arrive per hour on an average. Assuming that the time between successive arrival is exponentially distributed. Here they have given the clue. In binomial and poison, I told you, you have to identify. If you have only 2 options, binomial, and if the probability is very small in those 2 options, then you will go for the next one. Correct? Here, it is easy. They have clearly mentioned exponentially distributed. So, find the probability that the time between the arrival of buses is less than 10 minutes, at least 30 minutes. Once given any probability problem, just read the data and write what it is given and which formula you are going to apply. Again, I repeat, so far we have seen binomial and poison. In both binomial and poison, we have only two options, yes or no. It's going to react or not. It's going to pass or fail. But in binomial, the probability will be little better. In poison, the probability will be extremely low. 
here in exponential here they have clearly mentioned so we know that okay this is an exponential distribution problem so we are fixing the formula f of x is alpha e power minus alpha x in the lim interval 0 to infinity so no confusion in the distribution now they have given average of three buses in one hour so uh, for example eight o'clock one bus uh, is coming then in one hour we will get three buses the next bus will come in 820 correct and the next bus in 840 and then it will be like 9 so within an hour in every 20 minutes we assume that the bus is coming so the average is 20 average means it's nothing but mean just now we derived mean what is the mean 1 by alpha so average is 20 which means 1 by alpha is 20 and please in the formula we have alpha so alpha is 1 by 20 okay the common mistake you do is you will write alpha as 20 here alpha is not 20 1 by alpha is 20 therefore alpha is 1 by 20 so just replacing it in the formula alpha e power minus alpha x 1 by 20 e power minus 1 by 20 x so here x is nothing but the time interval between successive intervals now what you have to find less than 10 minutes so what you will write it like that p of x less than 10 at least 30 means what you will write p of x greater than or equal to 30 correct so we are going to fix what we are going to write here p of x less than 10 minutes p of x less than 10 p of x greater than or equal to 30 this is what we are going to find yes so p of x less than 10 means the interval limit is 0 to 10 Okay, general formula is 0 to infinity. But here we have a particular condition. X less than 10 we are going to find. So we are going to find 0 to 10. And you have written f of x dx. That's it. This is very easy. Integration is very easy in this. This 1 by 20 is just a constant. Throw it outside. E power some constant into x. If you integrate what you will get? E power that divided by the constant. Here the constant is minus 1 by 20. So I have written minus 1 by 20 in the denominator. Integration is very simple. And the limit is 0 to 10. How we will apply? First we will apply upper limit and then lower limit. So if you want this minus 1 by 20, you can take it out, cancel it. Negative sign is there. Please be careful when you are solving it. So when you apply upper limit, e, upper limit x is 10. So e power minus 10 by 20 minus lower limit is 0. e power 0 value is 1. The denominator I have thrown it outside. And then if you solve it, you will get this answer. And as I mentioned, probability value always lies between 0 and 1. Don't write any other value uh, above that window. So now uh, at least 30 means I will write P of x greater than or equal to 30. Please, uh, this greater than or equal to means a lot in discrete but in continuous it's easy. Integral 30 to infinity. Instead of integrating from 30 to infinity, I can write it as what total probability is 1? 1. 1 minus p of x less than 30. Okay. So, 1 minus integral 0 to 30 and then I am writing the function. So, this minus is common for this. Again, same integration e power minus 1 by 20 x by minus 1 by 20. Applying the limit. Here the limit is 0 to 30. Upper limit in the place of x I am replacing 30. e power minus 30 by 20. And lower limit e power 0 is 1. Here for a change I didn't take the denominator outside you can keep it inside also or you can take it outside also and this is a probability so all problems in exponential distribution will be clearly mentioned in the question itself you'll get an idea that's it thank you and whenever you have a doubt or if i ask any question pause the video for a second and write down your answer and then check all the best